Now, here we will do we will apply equivalence of motion for vertically upward and downward motion. Suppose any object is thrown vertically upward like this, this is I have taken a ground. I have thrown object vertically upward with initial velocity u at highest point at highest point final velocity is 0 and this is height h. So, for the vertical motion we can use all three equations of motion, but we have to replace distance s by h and acceleration a by g. So, when the object is going vertically upward we write all equations like this v is equal to u minus g t it means the acceleration we have taken upward that is negative h is equal to u t minus half g t square and third, uh, third one is v square is equal to u square minus 2 g h. So, see when object goes up acceleration acting downward which is actually retarding the body. So, we write here acceleration negative, but acceleration a is replaced by g that is acceleration due to gravity. Now, we can take for downward motion. So, if you are taking downward motion, so see here in downward motion, these things are only about free fall. This is the highest point, this is ground here. From here, when you drop any object, initial velocity is 0. When it reaches the ground that hits the ground, it has got the maximum velocity. So, object is coming downward, acceleration is acting downward. So, we can write all equations of motion v is equal to u plus g t, h is equal to u t plus half g t square and v square is equal to u square plus 2 g h. So, for downward motion we use all these three equations of motion. Now, we will do numericals related to this given formulae and also acceleration due to gravity. Now, see in this example a stone is released from the top of a tower of height 19.6 meter calculate the final velocity just before touching the ground. Suppose this is a tower this is ground here and the ball is dropped from here this height is 19.6 meter when the ball is dropped initial velocity u is equal to 0. You have to get the velocity over here that is called final velocity. See what are given here u is 0 19.6 meter is a height h we can write g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square that is acceleration due to gravity you have to calculate final velocity. Just to apply this equation v square is equal to u square plus 2 g h because body is coming downward. So, g we have taken positive. So, this is here 0 plus 2 into 9.8 into 19.6 9.8 into 2 is also 19.6 into 19.6 we can take a square root. So, v is equal to 19.6 meter per second. So, when the ball reaches the ground it has velocity 19.6 meter per second. So, now we will go for the another example. See in this example a stone is thrown vertically upwards with a velocity of 49 meter per second calculate the maximum height to which it rises and the total time it takes to return to the surface of earth. So, first to understand motion of a stone. Suppose you are throwing from this point, this is a ground here. From ground you are throwing a stone like this whose velocity is u is equal to 49 meter per second initial velocity. As it rises up g acts downward which reduces the velocity that is a retardation slowly velocity at the maximum height suppose this height is maximum height h at this height velocity will become 0. So, 
for a moment velocity will become 0, but acceleration is not 0. So, this is an example where velocity is 0, but acceleration is not 0. So, now after that this stone will start coming down. So, you have to calculate what is this maximum height, how much time it takes to go up, how much time it takes to come down. So, first we will calculate height. So, you see relation easily go through all the equations of motion, final velocity is given to us, initial velocity is given to us, g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square is given to us. So, easily we can go for height this equation v square is equal to u square plus 2 g h, but the body is going up. So, we can write here minus that is negative. Here 0 is equal to 49 square minus 2 into 9.8 h. Here we take this side. So, 49 into 49 divided by 19.6 is equal to h that you will be getting h is equal to 122.5 meter. So, this height is 122.5 meter. Now, you have to calculate time. So, how we will calculate time? Simply look at the first equation of motion v is equal to u minus g t. We know final velocity 0, this is 49 minus 9.8 into t. So, we can write t is equal to 49 upon 9.8 that is 5 seconds. So, time to go up is 5 seconds, we can give this time as t 1. So, we can also call here time of ascent. So, time to go up is time of ascent, when it comes down time of descent. So, similarly t 2 is time of descent is equal to 5 seconds. So, whatever the time it takes while going up same time will be taken by stone to come down. So, the total time we can write here t 1 plus t 2 that is we can say 10 seconds, we call it that is time of flight. So, time of flight is 10 seconds. So, see here solving is very simple you just apply formula and you will get the answer, but main thing is here you have to analyze the question. Go step by step and then you try to solve and write each and every step very carefully, so that there is no chance to commit any mistake. So, now we will take another example which will be slightly difficult than this these two examples. Now, see in this example, a stone is allowed to fall from the top of a tower 100 meter high and at the same time another stone is projected vertically upwards from the ground with a velocity of 25 meter per second. Calculate when and where the stones will meet. So, see here in this question there are two stones one is coming downward, one is thrown vertically upward. So, you have to study motion of the two stones together. Suppose, I have taken here this is ground position and this is a tower whose height is 100 meter. One stone is dropped from here, its initial velocity will be 0. So, one stone is dropped from here another stone is thrown vertically upward from here whose velocity is 25 meter per second. These two stones will go up or this will come down, this will go up at certain height suppose they are going to meet, suppose they meet after t seconds. So, we can write here let meeting time be t seconds. So, after t seconds they are meeting. So, first we take suppose after t seconds this stone will be here, this has travel distance suppose h. So, this will travel distance 100 minus h. So, this stone should be somewhere here. So, both the can meet over here at this point. 
so one is coming down one is going up so upper one has travel distance h and this which is projected from ground has travel distance 100 minus h now we will apply equations of motion so for the first one for this stone we can take case 1 u is equal to 0 so we can write h is equal to ut plus half gt square so we can write h is equal to 0 into t plus half gt square so h is equal to half gt square so this is the distance traveled by this stone dropped one to the downside in time t now see the second one in case 2 we can take for this case 1 case 2 we can write here 100 minus h because it has travel distance 100 minus h is equal to 25 into t minus half g t square this is second add first one and two so adding first and second equations we get h plus 100 minus h is equal to half g t square plus 25 t minus half g t square this this will get cancelled this this will get cancelled you will be getting 100 is equal to 25 t so t is equal to 4 seconds so now both stones will be meeting each other after 4 seconds now you can calculate what is height so we can calculate h simply so h is equal to half g t square so we can put half into we can take g 10 here I have taken g is equal to 10 meter per second square and this is 4 square so this is 5 and we can write here 5 into 16 is equal to 80 meter so both stones are meeting after 4 seconds and from the top of 80 meter so this height h is 80 meter so the both stone will meet after this so now this is the question which is very important question here and it has got the two stones together so you have to apply all equations of motion in proper way to get the proper answers and proper sign of acceleration due to gravity so now after these examples we will go for the next topic that is mass and weight